Welcome to my channel. I'm the Dark Lord of Optics, and what I bring you here is a thinking man's take on guns and optics with occasional forays into politics. Thank you for being here. All right, we are looking at the ACSS Nova Radical in the primary arms, uh, latest generation SLX, I guess it's Gen 3 or Gen 4, I'm not entirely sure. A 1 to 6 by 24 low power variable scope. We are currently on 6 power. The reason the image looks so funky is that I'm looking kind of in between uh, two different PRS style setups here. The tire and all sort of stuff. And the idea is that, you know, there are some targets a couple of hundred yards out. We can sort of see in between things. And uh, um, we can sort of see in between things. And there is also something that's close. The, the barricades here are... I don't know, 10, 11 yards away from me, something like that. So as I go through the magnification, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the illumination brightness. Really, the uh, look of the reticle, the illumination brightness is why I am doing this right now. The reticle is not illuminating. You can see that it's nicely visible. We're on one power. It's middle of the day. Illumination setting: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 is the brightest. And if I'm going to close the cap, just to get an idea what it looks like without the cap. There we go. Okay. We're going to transition to high magnification. Now we're on 2, 3. Let's see. I'm budging the scope when I'm moving. Uh, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, let's see what else can I show you. There isn't a whole lot here to see. There is an old hull of a car that is set up here. We can take a quick look at that. If I can get the scope to. Show me what I need. Now we're on one power. If I need to take a quick shot, close distances. And this is a very, very nice scope for that. Transition with this red dot. The red illuminated dot really sticks out nicely. Okay. It's a tire 10 yards from me, something like that. And let's look through that. Right, the tire instead of tire. Okay. So the looking at the reticle, let's put it up against the sky so you can see the subtensions well. Okay. Uh, the hash marks below the uh, primary aiming point are one mil radian apart. The widths are calibrated uh, as quick range finding, I believe for uh, something, it's 18 inch wide, human chest plate, whatever. I believe I'm gonna double check anyway. I have a manual for this reticle, but naturally I forgot it at home, so I'll correct it. If I need to, and the dots on the left and the right are basically uh, there for lead. It's a nice, simple wire reticle with a very bright dot. Honestly, for a scope like this, I don't think we need anything really more complicated one that you can do rudimentary uh, range finding you can uh, shoot fast on one power you can shoot reasonably far out on six power I haven't tried it yet but I fully intend to and you have some lead indicators I don't think you need much more than that thank you for listening and thank you for watching if you have any questions you know what time